Welcome traders to another Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing March the 27th. After last week's slew of central bank inputs, we have a much quieter week in terms of the data slate. Focus in the US is going to be on inflation and how that's been affected by the stress that we've seen in the financial system. However, over the weekend, we have had news that uh, Silicon Valley Bank have been acquired and uh, assets and deposits are secured. So following the 25 basis point rate rise last week, markets will be listening for Fed officials' latest views on where the risks lie and how they see the path for monetary policy evolving. Central bankers continue to argue that financial stability, policy measures, and price stability measures should be viewed separately. But the feedback from the stresses in the financial system uh, look to inevitably impact the real economy and the outlook for inflation. In this regard, markets were keeping a close eye on consumer sentiment measures, given the unsettling news flow surrounding the banks in recent weeks. There are also plenty of housing data out this week, while the Fed's favoured measure of inflation, the core personal consumer expenditure deflation, is also due to be published. So in terms of the data slates, uh, Tuesday, we start with the housing data, uh, FHFA house prices index, uh, the house price index, uh, S&P, case Schiller also released. Uh, pace of price declines have clearly slowed, but a recovery is not yet in sight in terms of the housing data. We'll also get the March Richmond, Richmond Fed index, regional surveys highlighting manufacturer ongoing manufacturer challenges. Last time that was a negative 16 print there. And we will also get the March Consumer Confidence Index looking for a pull, minor pullback there to 101.5 from last month's 102.9, the uptrend in confidence, limited by rates and real income. And heading into Wednesday, we will get the February pending home sales data. Last time we saw an uptick to 8.1%. Now we're going to see whether or not that was an anomaly related to the unusually mild start of the year. Uh, markets are pricing a negative 0.23% print for, uh, for the, after the January bounce. Then heading into Thursday, we will get Q4 GDP annualized, looking for 2.7% versus the estimate of 2.7% last time out. We'll also get initial jobless claims to remain at a relatively low level for now. Last time, one, uh, 191,000 print there. We'll also hear from Fed speakers, Barkins and Collins. And then heading into Friday, we'll get personal income, Looking for 0.3% versus 0.6% last time out. Personal spending looking for 0.3% versus 1.8% last time. And the PCE deflator looking for 0.4% uh, uh, versus 0.6% last time out. And the core PCE deflator looking for 0.4% versus 0.6% last time. Uh, the flattening trend set to, can, uh, set to crystallize, uh, indicating a loss of momentum. Uh, in terms of consumer activity, the FOMC will be closely monitoring services inflation components as, uh, as a key input there. We'll also get the March University of Michigan sentiment on Friday, looking for 63.4 uh, versus the estimate of 63.4. And we will hear from Fed speakers, Barr, Williams, Waller and Cook. Moving to the technical setup. So after completing the equality objective, the test last week into that 101.80, we saw a decent rebound heading into the back end of the week uh, as a, a safe haven bid emerged for the dollar. So we're now going to, we've got to set up to test some critical levels as we come into the start of this week. Firstly, I'm tracking the symmetry swing uh, objective to the upside, which coincides with the high volume node here on the four hour chart. So 103.20 is going to be the key level as we head into this week. If we can get through there, then I would expect that we will see further upside in the dollar. Next stop will be the weekly R1, 103.70s, and then on to that former uh, swing high there, uh, the 104.70s. However, if we fail to sustain or get acceptance above that 103.20s, and we continue to trade below the trend channel resistance, we could anticipate that the dollar will actually roll over once again here, break the weekly pivot, move down to retest the prior cycle lows en route to an ideal test of the weekly and monthly projected range support down towards the 101 handle. So all eyes really are going to be on 
whether or not we can get a sustained break through this 103.20s. Moving to the Eurozone, much quieter week there in terms of data. Thursday, we will look for March consumer confidence. Last time out, a negative 19.2. And the March economic confidence was actually at 99.7. Inflation and interest rates are weighing on confidence recovery across both consumers and businesses. And then we round out the data slate for the Eurozone with employment data on Friday. 6.6% last time out for the employment rate. And we'll also get March CPI percent year over year, 8.5%. The labor market remains tight for now, but slack is expected to emerge gradually. Attention in terms of the CPI print is going to be firmly on the momentum in the services sector. So let's take a look at the chart in terms of the euro dollar. Got a decent bid over the last, uh, last week, pulled back. Uh, as the dollar strengthened into the back end of last week. So again, the euro dollar testing some key levels here. If we're going to see further upside, we would be looking for this 107 level to hold. If it can, and um, we get uh, we get a move back through the 108 handle again, then we'll look for a retest of the price cycle highs en route to an ideal test of the monthly projected range resistance and those price swing highs into that 110 handle. However, if we fail to hold on to the 107, and we uh, we see offers emerging into the market below that 107 level, then we'd anticipate a move back down to test support into that 106 handle as the key area uh, where we then once again look to retest the high volume load from below, getting moved back into that 107.20. So it's really going to be key as to whether or not uh, Euro bulls can hold on to the 107 handle as we uh, get things going this week. Moving to the UK. Data-wise, uh, Tuesday, March, nationwide house prices, uh, pricing correction in the housing market in the UK remains well entrenched. Last time, we got a negative 0.5% print there. Moving to Wednesday, we will get mortgage lending data, uh, 2.5 billion last time out, but there is a downtrend that is firming amid broad spread correction in terms of the housing market in the UK. Then we round out the data in the UK on Friday with Q4 GDP. Uh, looking for a flat line there, 0.0%, the final estimate. In terms of the chart, sterling wise, <clears throat> we are looking at a test now of the uh, 122.80s. If we can't get through there, we've got a potential head and shoulder scenario developing on the uh, on the four hour time frame here. I'd be looking for a move back to at least test into that 121.30s. But if we can break through, the uh, the 123 handle, we look for a retest of the 12340s and then on to our target uh, for the quality objective versus the 12010 swing low. We look for 12411. Moving to Japan, <coughs> in terms of data, incredibly quiet. I think we only have one, uh, one print of note, which comes on Friday. Uh, the February industrial production, last time negative 5.3%, looking for a positive 2.7% print there. Softening global demand continues to act as a drag on output uh, in the Japanese economy. Uh, from a technical perspective, I'm looking for any three-way corrective moves back into test trend channel, projected trend channel resistance just above 132. Watch for bearish reversal patterns there. I'm ultimately looking for a test of the monthly projected range support down to just above 129. And then we have weekly projected range support and these prior swing lows here at the 128.17 level. At this stage, would really take a close through this trend channel resistance to suggest that the uh, Corrected move to the downside is, is complete. And then we'd be starting to think about a grind back up into the 135 handle. And rounding things out from a data perspective, down under in Australia, what do we have this week? Well, Tuesday, we get retail sales data, looking for a 0.1% print there. There's the potential that we could see something as high as 0.5% monthly gains possible, but in the context of a material Slow down. We'll also hear from the RBA head of payments policy, uh, Connolly speaking at a banking summit on Tuesday, uh, then heading into Wednesday, CPI monthly indicator, uh, looking for 7.2%. Uh, markets expect could see something in the range of 7.4%. Uh, the February survey 
a large number of services prices were on the uptick there. And then we round out the data down under in Australia, February private sector credit looking for 0.4%. Further confirmation of a significant slowdown in the credit sector there as the rate rises really start to bite. So from a technical perspective, Aussie dollar continues to hold this uh, trend channel support. Any loss of this uh, trend channel on a closing basis would be a bearish development, suggesting that we would take a look down into uh, the weekly projected range support and those prior swing lows, the 66.50 handles. However, if we can hold the, uh, the trend channel <coughs> support zone, then we'd look for a test back into the high volume nodes, 67.30s, and then we can think about move back on into look at the 68 handle as the next upside objective. Uh, for the Aussie. So it's really going to be key as to whether or not we can hold this, this trend channel support for the Aussie dollar as we start the week. And rounding things out with a quick look at crypto and Bitcoin continues to trade in this uh, potential megaphone pattern here. Uh, we are looking for move to test the 30,000 level from there. We're watching for bearish reversal patterns. And certainly as we maintain momentum divergence there, I think this could be an interim top. And then a, the first target to the downside will be a move back into the apex of the uh, the megaphone scenario here, 27,700 from just above that 30,000 level. So watching any test into that zone as we head into the week and that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 27th of march as always traders plan the trade trade the plan and most importantly manage your risk until next week thanks very much